Michelle Sterling for Friends of Science Society, reporting from Porto, Portugal. I came here to attend the basic climate science conference, which was held at the Porto University. I spoke with Howard Dewhurst, professional geologist and co-author of an important letter to the Geological Society of London. You recently were involved in writing a special letter. Yep, uh, I was involved in a group of us got together because we were, we were um, unhappy with the Geological Society of London's position paper on climate change for various reasons. Because we were told, and a lot of people are told, that 97% of scientists agree with the science of climate change and global warming. But all of the geologists I know don't agree with that. And it didn't seem sensible that I could only know people from the 3% who were supposed to disagree. It didn't make sense. So we looked at the, at the Geological Society's position papers and read them. There are many things in there that we said would believe were technically incorrect, uh, particularly to do with the effect of CO2 on, on warming, because there has been no warming since 1998. If you exclude El Niños, the planet, the average temperature of the planet has not gone up since 1998. But CO2, 50% of the CO2 in, that's now in the atmosphere arrived after 1998. So we've got this immense increase in CO2, which could be a problem. We're not saying that that itself isn't a problem, but it is not driving global warming. 